We're about to back out. We didn't think there'd be nearly this many people here. Uh, we've certainly had a good time so far. It's been a great experience for us. Uh, I noticed one thing last night that's uh, another great similarity uh, in what you do and what we do, and that is that you uh, come in, get hot and sweaty, uh, dance and drink, and finish up with breakfast in the wee hours of the morning. So we all have a lot in common. Uh, we have noticed uh, quite a few similarities, and this has been our first uh, exposure to uh, the different types of swings, swing or different variations. Uh, what we want to do today really is just try to show you some of the things that make the shag unique to us. And uh, I know I enjoyed the conversation yesterday regarding uh, some of the laws and principles and, and that type of thing because we feel uh, the same way in shagging. There are certain things that we want to keep in the dance but we have a lot of freedom to put our self-expression in it. And over the years, uh, and I guess people have been shagging since the early 40s, and some of them still come out with us now, and they tell us that, some of them tell us that we're not doing the shag the way it's supposed to be. And what we've tried, <laughs> I should, you may have heard that. And then the newer ones come up, and we say they're not doing it the way they're supposed to. So we just try to keep certain basic things like the pivot or the whip, the basic, uh, how we look, our look when we're shagging. I try to keep that, and then anything else in there is fair game. <clears throat> or unique is that we do, we do attempt to do a track or slot dance, and we change the slot sometimes when we come out of a whip or a pivot, and we don't think so much about whether we get back in the same one. Wherever we come out and throw the girl out or let her go, that's where we try to stay uh, until we go into another one. Uh, and our basic, again, is done up and back our, well, the guy's left hand, the girl's right, it's the point of a uh, lead, and we just simply one and two, three and four, five, six. The thing that we try so hard not to do is to move forward at the end of the basic. We want to stay back so that the lead hand, there's some tension there, uh, so you don't have to make a dramatic move when you get ready to lead the girl into a whip or a turn. So it's one and two, three and four, five, six, one, two. Uh, you want to remember to stay back and girls if you've been used to moving your hips around it may be tough but you want to try not to do that you work with your knees one and two. Oh, okay this one all right one and two three and four five six one and two three and four five six it's like walking which is some of the same ones you do. We call it a female turn. Excuse me, female turn. Five, six, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, one, and two, three, and four, five, six. That's basically the same turn. Side pass is one that I saw y'all do it differently than we do. When we do a side pass, we normally change hands. I'll pull her. Take her hand when she comes by, three and four, and finish with her to, her to my back. Five, six, and then one, three. Five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. And girls, if he doesn't pull you, we don't go forward. We stay in the back. Triple step, triple step, double. Triple step, triple step, double, right? Five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, one. Is when the guy pulls us, we don't we don't do anything unless he leaves us. And we stay back. I'm, I'm not saying that that's different, but it, what we do is, if he keeps me back there, if he doesn't pull me on my five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, I just continue to do my basic till he leads me into something different. As you can tell, this is a very male-oriented dance, but we have the whole. We move up together on the triple, the first triple, the one and two of our basic, one and two. Then we start back, three and four. And then really our body shouldn't be moving back. We just do our rock step, rock step. This is what Bob was talking about, I think, yesterday, that you didn't, we don't step back like this and move our whole body back. 
but on a rock step, we will step our, step our foot back like that. It is a step, rock, step. Sometimes we don't move the foot, but it's weight transfer and then back into the basic again. And, no, not at all. Well, she can. Now, this is another, this is another thing. There are a lot of schools, there are a lot, there are a lot of feelings, again, as you go back and watch. Shagging started out, I think, with a very uh, uh, unstructured type of thing. The, the account, I, it's a, a lot of talk about the history, the, the, the black dance and the jitterbug, refining the jitterbug a little bit. But they had basically the same count, but the girl was doing her thing, the guy was doing his, and they were all doing it within that basic, and, they were, and that's when you dance with some of the older people, that's the way they do it now. Then it got up and it went totally the other way. The girl did nothing but her basic, and the guy did everything. And now what it's done is gotten to <clears throat> a point that we do what we call mirror steps. Very few times will she break out. Some people do. We, we elect not to do it. Will she break out into something herself? But we might do, do that. We might do something together. like this, which is based on account, and we work it out, and it's a set step. We don't have a routine, it's not choreographed, but we'll call that step each other, or signal each other, and then we'll do that. Triple step, rock back, triple step, triple step, rock back. One of the things that I think most of the people do, if you don't bring your and foot up, and you get your weight on the wrong foot, one and two, and then the only foot that moves in this part of the basic is that moves, that takes a step back is your, uh -oh, is three and four, that's in one spot, and then right back, five, six, and then you start back with your right foot again, one and two, three and four, five, six. I'll let Charlie explain the guy's part. The guy's is just a mirror, just a mirror image uh, of, of the girls. Okay, if I do it this way. Uh, it's actually, you, you bring your feet together. You start with the left. One and two. The left foot comes up, the right's beside it, and then the left starts back. That's your first triple. One and two. Now your left foot's going to stay planted. Right comes back, three and four. Rock, step. One and two. Three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. And the reason for, uh, ready, go. One and two, three and four, five, six. 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 We stay in real close even at the end of it. We don't, we don't rock out. Notice he has full control and I don't go anywhere until he puts me there. Your rock step, your rock step at the end of your basic, where you where you have this tension on the hand. The lead is the lead is that you were talking about yesterday in the class is not like this, but as you step back in your rock step, you have a little tension. You just pull with your fingers, and as the girl comes to you, drop the hand just in between you. Don't make it. Don't pull it in here like this and get a chicken wing. And don't push it down here like this and be stiff. Just pull it and let it drop natural. One and two, step, step, three and four. You just drop right down between you. Pull, drop. Pull, drop. All right, let's try it. Let's go through it one time and see what happens. All right, we're going to finish. We're going to finish on a rock. We're going to start from a rock step. Rock, step, triple step, 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 triple step. Rock, step.
<laughs> right. Okay, let me show you. The girls, this is what we do. I'm going to start back with the, the rock back step. Rock step. Triple step. Step, step, triple step. Rock step. My first step is with my left foot. And I step, yeah, same thing y'all do. And I just step in front with the right, and I keep my steps real small, and I pivot on the balls of my feet, then we get the rotation and the pivot. That's great. The only thing, the only thing at the end, when you swing out, rotation keep it close yeah um, let me have at the very end do not let the girls swing out like this three and four five, six. Okay. we don't do that we keep the rotation and it's like you're unwinding So just keep your, your three and four, five, six real close in together. I'm trying to get where everybody, okay. A, a kick back and lean, we do it out of a front crossover and we'll cross over with our basic lead foot. A cross, kick, back. Again, our bodies didn't come back, we just shifted our weight back. Now we're gonna do a weight shift, back and shift. Now we'll do a, what we call a lean. Lean away from each other touch back. Our weight goes to our lead foot and then back to our eight, our eight foot on my right and her left. And then we're right back into our triple step, triple step. All right, step across, kick, back and shift, lean, touch back, one and two, three and four, five, six. Now, one, or we can do a turn and do it. One, two, back and shift, lean, touch back. So, so you do one thing, and back, my weight's back on my right foot now, and shift. I just changed feet. Make sure you step back. Let's do it again. Step across, kick, back, and shift. Lean, you rotate around to the right, touch back, one, and two, three, and four, five, six. That's six counts. I'll count it for five, six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, and two. All right, before we start, here's what we're going to do. Rock, step, step, kick, back, and shift, lean, touch back. One and two. Through the shift, you stay in place. Again, we're working at the back of our basic. If you go forward, both of you are doing it together. You're up here like this. You have to stay, keep your distance again, so we push back away from each other. Now we're able to keep our distance. All right, do it again. Step, kick. Back and shift, lean, touch back, one and two. <clears throat> and it's directly back into a trip. Out of a kick back again, we step across, kick, and rather than back and shift and putting our weight down, it's back and kick. Step, kick, back and kick. The kick foot comes behind and we go to the side with our knees. Then we step forward and go to the opposite side. Then it's one and two, back into the triple. Still a six count move. One, two, three, and kick. Side, side. One and two, three and four, five, six. Step, kick, back and kick. Side, side. One and two. Again, a same thing about not moving forward, just like we stressed in the basic. When we kick back to do a boogie walk, we really kick away and extend away from each other. Step, kick, back and kick, straighten our arms out, side, side, one and two, three and four, 
five, six. Six. Step, kick, back, and kick, side, side. And then into a wheel. All right. Five, six. One, two, three, and four. Five, six. Again, there are a lot of, once you learn, the ba so far we've done a kick back in the lean, and we've done a boogie walk. And we can do them in front, together, apart. We can do it to the side. Step, kick, back, and kick, side, side, one, and two, a lean. Now what we've done is taken a boogie walk, and then a turn, and we did our kick back and our lean, and we made a little step together that we can do. Okay, well, we Part. Step, kick, back, and shift. Now we're just going to step across and do it again. Step, kick, back, and shift. Now we're going to turn, do two kicks, kick. Now we're going to boogie walk. Side, side. Now you go back into your basic. Now turn, kick, kick, side, side, kick. You don't let me finish. You're not letting me finish the Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six.